Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Janelle and I upload new videos every single week. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys all of my favorite products. We have beauty products, we have body care. I even have some food items. Let me get my Celsius out of the way. I get set a lot of products, I try so many products, and with that, I hold everything to a higher standard. A product has to do a lot for it to really impress me, so that's why you need to watch this video. My light just went out. Let me grab a charger for my light and let's get into the video. This foundation, you guys, is the only foundation you need this spring and summer. I'm normally not a foundation girl. I've been so into tinted moisturizers and just like lightweight things on the skin. This is the one foundation that I can wear and feel confident in. I don't feel like it's heavy. It doesn't break apart on me. It's what I have on my skin right now. And you can see it just leaves like the perfect velvety matte finish. It's not too matte. It's also super thin consistency that also offers amazing coverage. So like, for example, right now my skin is completely broken out. I have dark spots everywhere. You can't tell obviously with this foundation. It gives that coverage but it's such a lightweight formula that I don't feel like I have a huge thick layer of foundation caked on. Literally everything I want in a foundation. It literally says that it's a luminous matte foundation up to 24 hours of full coverage and a weightless feel. What more could you possibly ask for? Then with the foundation I have been loving to use these two powders. One is drugstore and one is high end. First one is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I actually have this one on one side of my face I can't remember which side, but I was doing a TikTok comparing the two powders. And then the second powder is the Makeup Forever HD Skin Powder. I'm gonna get into what I like about both of them, how they're very similar, but I'm also gonna get into their differences so that way you can decide which you'd prefer. So maybe I'm fit me. I forgot how much I loved this powder. I used to use it all the time in 2019. It literally locks the makeup in place all day. It's a fine powder that's not going to look cakey and add like an extra thick layer on the skin, but it does have a soft tint of color that that just adds that extra velvety finish, smooths out the skin, and literally makes the makeup last all day. I don't have intense shine on the skin when I use this powder. However, it's also not overly drying. It is just such a well-balanced powder. It's like six or seven dollars from Walmart. Like, it just doesn't seem right. But it's so good. I use the shade 235 Pure Beige, and I've also been loving the Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Powder. This literally does all the same things that powder does. Literally locks makeup in place all day. It leaves such a velvety finish to the skin and does give a wash of color. What sets this one apart is that it's also a foundation powder so you can apply it with like a dense brush or a sponge and it's gonna give you that full coverage foundation powder look. I've never worn it as a foundation powder. I'm not a foundation powder kind of girl. But I do love these to set my makeup all over. It keeps the makeup on all day. To be honest I can't tell you much of a difference between the two. I will say the Makeup Forever one is a little less powdery looking. It's matte but not as matte as the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder. I have another foundation to talk to you guys about. I left it upstairs but I'm just gonna insert a picture of it and it is the L'Oreal true match foundation. I've been using the shade W5 for myself. I forgot how beautiful of a foundation that is. I love how they relaunched it and now it comes with a pump because I feel like that was the only thing that was kind of like taking points away from it back in the day. I used it to film a TikTok about a month ago and my makeup lasted all day. I actually used that foundation with this powder. Makeup stayed put all day that I ended up using that combination for like the next few weeks because my makeup just looks so airbrush and beautiful and it stayed put. I even filmed a get ready with me showing you guys all the base products that I used with that foundation and like I was just obsessed. So if you're looking for a good drugstore base routine, I'm going to link that video down below as well. If you want a foundation that's going to be a nice satin finish, not too dewy, not too matte, medium buildable coverage, not cakey, will wear beautifully throughout the day that you're able to layer without it getting cakey, that is the foundation for you. It blends and it feels like a high-end foundation but it's at a drugstore price. Let's move on on to some concealers that I've been loving at the moment. I got some drugstore, some high end. Let's start with the drugstore. The NYX Bear With Me Concealer. Again, I talked about this in like my drugstore base routine in a Get Ready With Me video that I was talking about earlier that I'll leave linked down below. I mentioned in that video how I was upset that I got a bunch of concealers during the Sephora sale because I didn't need to buy any of those. This concealer is so good. It performs just like my high end concealers. It's such a balance of all of my high end concealers that I love too because it's a thin consistency. It offers good coverage. It doesn't crease. It blends out seamlessly and melts into the skin. I can wear this with minimal makeup. I can wear it with a full face of makeup like I have on right now. Buildable. So what I have on my eyes right now and I don't know if you guys can see just how like 
smooth it looks. I don't know why I stopped using this concealer and I also don't know why I don't grab for it more. I'm not gonna lie, a lot of times we're trained in our brains to think that like expensive makeup is better makeup, but that's not always the case. I've tried expensive makeup that forms like garbage. This is $14 at Target and honestly $14 is not that cheap for drugstore makeup. So it's like a good middle ground. You're getting quality, a little bit more money, but you're not spending $30, $40. On a concealer. These like concealers I picked up during the Sephora sale. They're expensive, but I've been loving this combo for airbrush full coverage glam under eye while not being cakey, not being dry and creasy, not giving you bunchy under eyes. And it is the Dior Backstage Concealer with a tiny bit of the Pat McGrath Concealer. I forgot how much I loved this concealer. It's so full coverage, but hydrating. This concealer during allergy season for me is a must, which is why I've been using this combo. I'll apply the Dior Backstage Concealer in a little half moon under my eye like this, and then I'll focus the Pat McGrath concealer in a slightly brighter shade right here just like a little dot on the inner part of my eye where most of that darkness is and then I'll blend it out with a beauty sponge and it gives me the most seamless full coverage hydrated juicy under eye it's stunning if you're somebody that has drier under eyes and you have like a lot of creases that are starting to appear and you have to be more particular with your concealer but you need something full coverage this combination is beautiful. And even if you didn't want to get both of these because they are expensive, I would recommend at least getting like the Pat McGrath concealer with the NYX concealer and then doing that same technique. It's gonna give you a super full coverage under eye, but it's not gonna look dry, crepey, and heavy. Then another concealer, this is bougie. It's unnecessary, but it's beautiful, so I wanna talk about it. And it is the YSL, this is the Touche Eclat. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Radiant Touch Concealer. It's like a brightening pen. You guys, this for like a daytime, summer makeup look stunning it's not a full coverage concealer and it has like an iridescent i wouldn't say sheen to it but it just makes your under eyes look so juicy and hydrated it's not going to give you full coverage but it's going to give you enough coverage to make it look like you don't have makeup on so your dark circles aren't even appearing that much and then it's going to make your skin look so juicy you're just going to look so effortlessly perfect it melts right into the skin it gives the most beautiful glow and again it's so lightweight so it doesn't even look like you have product underneath your eye, but it's just gonna look so bright, wide-eyed, and awake. All right, let's continue with the whole under eye madness. In my last favorites video, I mentioned how much I've been loving the Givenchy Prism Powder. I believe I talked about it in that video. If I didn't, I have been loving that powder, but you guys, I found such a beautiful alternative from the drugstore that I've been grabbing for, like just as much as my Givenchy powder. They're so similar, but different, but the differences aren't even that one is better than the other, kind of for different purposes. El Halo Glow Powder is a powder that I've been grabbing for more than my $60 Givenchy powder. And I have mine in the shade light pink. So it gives you that highlighted bright under eye effect, which I love. It's what I have on my under eyes right now. This is the best drugstore powder. Ever. It's not drying or heavy. It sets the under eye, it smooths it, but it still melts into the skin and doesn't make your makeup look too cakey. I love the pinky undertone of it, but it's not like too pinky. What I love about this part or two is that it is a silky finish. It's not gonna be a matte finish. It almost has a sheen in it too. And it just melts into the skin. Do you see how it keeps like that soft sheen in the skin? It's not a glow, but it still bends the light. So your under eyes aren't gonna look dry and patchy absolutely gorgeous and I feel like this would be such a great drugstore powder for mature skin because again it's not gonna be too mattifying or drying I honestly want to pick up one of these for my freelance makeup kit because I feel like this is better than the powders that I have in there the Givenchy powder is a little bit more mattifying and blurring all right let's just continue on face products while we're here I'm going to talk about two bronzers that I've been loving once drugstore once high end what is up with that right now I think it's because I've been filming a lot of full face drugstore makeup tutorials on my tiktok that it made me refall in love with drugstore products and I'm like why did I ever stop using these. These are so good and just as good as my high-end product. So that first one is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I know that a drugstore product is good when I am like searching my makeup drawer looking for it over like my high-end bronzer that's right in front of me. That's what this bronzer has been doing to me. The reason I love it so much is because it's a satin bronzer but it's not shimmery. It melts right into my skin so that way like if I don't have a lot of other makeup on it's not gonna be like my dewy skin and then just like matte bronzer everywhere. But it's also not overly shimmery to where it's gonna create that opposite contrast where it's like too shiny where the bronzer is and then my skin not matching the glow. One of the best bronzers hands down. And then another bronzer that I have been loving. I can't believe I forgot about it. It is my MAC Give Me Sun bronzer. This is a part of the MAC Mineralize line 
where the product starts as a cream and they bake it into a powder, which allows for the product to melt into the skin like a cream. What I've been loving this bronzer for is just to give myself the all over sun kissed finish. Especially when I have a tan, I feel like this bronzer is perfect when I don't wanna wear a lot of makeup because I can just dust this everywhere. It gives a veil of coverage, it gives that warmth and bronze finish to my skin. I don't have to go in with much else. I will say this is a very warm bronzer. So if you are on the fair side, I would steer clear of this. But if you're close to my complexion or even a little bit deeper, this is such a beautiful bronzer to give you that just like I've been in the sun all day finish. This is my favorite every spring and summer and it is my burst glow drop. If you've been eyeing the Drunk Elephant Debronzy drop, but it's sold out everywhere or it's just too expensive, get this instead. It's only 14 bucks. All I use during the spring and summer time. It's the perfect product for like if you're going to a barbecue or something and you're going to be outside. You don't want to have full face of makeup on because you're going to be hot and sweaty, but like you may be have some blemishes and you want to even up your skin complexion. This is a product for you because it's intense. It's dark, right? When you blend it out, it shears out and then that color helps kind of disguise any blemishes on the skin and give it an overall more even bronzy finish and see how it gives that just like lit from within beautiful glow it looks like you've been drinking all your water you've been staying on top of your day and nighttime skincare routine it's also a beautiful product to mix with your foundations if you want to either sheer it out give it more of a glow or deepen up your foundation a little bit such a beautiful versatile product and you can get it at target for $14 they also sell it on Amazon it's like such a must-have for the spring and summer I can't remember if I talked about this in my previous favorites video or not if I haven't though I'm gonna talk about it again and it is my penitent. This wasn't my previous favorite, then that's how you know I really like it. I obviously love this for the cheeks. If I'm going to the gym and I just look like a man that day, I put a little bit of this on so that way I have that flush, but I don't have to like do a full on face just to go sweat my butt off at the gym. But what I really love this for is on the lips. It gives you the most beautiful like just flush lip color it just looks like you have naturally very pinky pigmented lips it's actually what i have on my lips right now a little bit of a lip pencil and then a lip balm over top my favorite way to apply this on the lips is to dot it on the lips let it dry a little bit and then after 30 seconds spread it out with my finger and that just gives you the perfect finish it's a stain so you're not gonna have to worry about babysitting your lip it's not a product that's gonna sit on top either it, it just melts in beautiful product while we're on the topic of lips i'm gonna go into not only the combo i have on now but the lip liner that that I've been grabbing for a non-stop. And that is my Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Pencil in the shade Totally Toffee. This has been my favorite for years, but like recently, this is the only pencil I'm grabbing for. If I'm going out to dinner and I need to take a lip combo with me, this is the pencil I'm searching for to put in my makeup bag. It is the perfect, most universal color. It's not too brown, it's not too pink. It goes with literally every color. It glides on so creamy. So like here, I swiped it back and forth so it's a nice like deeper brownie mauve, but I could just do like a light hand if I want it more sheer. I also like that this glides on because I love using this as a lip color itself too and just coloring my whole lip with this and then going in with a lip balm. Absolutely stunning. And then the product that I like to top the tint and my lip liner is my Kopari Lip Glossy in the shade Clear. This leaves your lips with the most juicy glass-like finish and it's not sticky at all. It's hydrating. I think about items that I'm like, if I'm doing my makeup, I'm searching through everything to look for that specific product. If I'm not just grabbing for or whatever's closest to me and I'm going out of my way to like rummage through drawers or brushes or specific item, that's how I know it's really good. So this is one of those brushes I'm like constantly looking for because I have to blend out my cream contour with this brush. It just blends it up perfectly. And that is my Sigma Small Contour FO5 brush. For one, the size of it. It's perfect for keeping it nice and precise and not like spreading the product out too much. But the bristles of the hair are long enough to be able to diffuse the product so that it's not like overly packed on and too harsh. It diffuses it effortlessly. And then I also like that the hairs are synthetic. So I'm able to use this with cream products and it just blends it out effortlessly. It's not going to absorb a bunch of the product. This is also great for liquid blush. Sometimes I'll use it for that too. You could use this for powder, bronzer and powder blush. It would work great for that. Kind of want to get a duplicate of the same exact brush to use for that because I just love the shape and how it blends product. If you have a hard time blending out your liquid contour, you find that like it either is too heavy or you find that like the product moves around too much. This brush is perfect. It gives you that precise application, but like I said, just blends it out effortlessly. And then the second cheap product I want to talk about is this blush. I talked about this in other favorites video, but I had to mention it again because again, it's one of those products that I have so many choices to choose from, but a lot of times I'm like looking for this 
blush specifically. And that is my Sephora Collection blush in the shade So Shy. It is just the perfect peachy pink. This is my favorite spring summer blush. What I have on my cheeks right now, I just find that it flows with my skin tone so perfectly. For a while, I was into the super cool tone pink blushes, which I do still love, but I feel like my natural undertone, something with a little bit more warmth, blends in with my undertone way more seamlessly and just like looks more like a natural flush. So that's why I love this one. I still get that like pop of pink finish, but it has the perfect amount of a peachy warmth to just still flow with a natural undertone. A little extra on with that same Sigma brush. Like, look how pretty it is. I also love that this is a matte blush that's buildable. It's not gonna pack on too much all at once. Because it's like a sheer buildable blush, sometimes I'll take a little bit on my brush and just tap that underneath of my eye. So it all flows super seamlessly. All right, let's move on to eyes and then back to lips because I forgot about two lip products that I wanted to mention. So for the eyes, this is actually an eyeshadow palette that I recently discovered. I'm surprised I bought it because I haven't purchased an eyeshadow palette in so long just because I have too many eyeshadows and I don't wear eyeshadow the way that I used to. But when I show you this palette, it just makes so much sense and it's perfect for those of you that are kind of like me where you're not into the super bold, dramatic eyeshadow looks. You need something concise, simple that you can travel with, have that go-to small eyeshadow to just do a quick look with and not even think about it. That is my Glossier Monochrome Palette in the shade Almond. Look at these shades right here. Truly really the perfect everyday eyeshadow palette. Perfect for any occasion. So what I have on my eyes, and it is just beautiful. This shade, the transition shade, blends so effortlessly. Like I literally will just throw this in my crease with a fluffy brush and it is just like boom diffused. And this shade right here, because it's not a straight up shimmer, it is kind of like, you know how I mentioned the bronzer kind of just like flowing with the natural texture and like that satin glow of the skin? That's kind of how this eyeshadow is. It's not too much. It's the perfect amount. You see how it just flows in with the natural shine of my skin? It's not too much. It's just enough to give a little bit of a pop, but not be like too much for like the office or for... I don't know, just like any everyday occasion. And I feel like this color on my skin complexion is perfect because, because it almost matches my skin color. It's just with a little bit of a sheen and a little bit of a rosy undertone to make my eyes pop. And I like how you have this shimmer as an option if you want to amp up this eyeshadow combo. It is such a beautiful sparkle. But it's not like an overly chunky sparkle. Beautiful eyeshadow that catches the light. So pretty. This is a pretty color to just even add to the center of the eye if you don't want the glitter all over, but you want the center of your eye to catch a light and really make your eyes pop. Actually, I'm going to apply some. Now I just have it in my inner corner because I didn't want too much on my eyes, but see what that just did? I want to get more okay. of these. On the topic was... of eyes, this is the eye pen that I've been loving. It is the Lancome Edol Ultra Precise Waterproof Eyeliner. It's in the shade brown. Wait, did I talk about this in a video? Okay, if I talked about this in a previous video, I'm sorry to be redundant. I just really love this product, and that goes to show how much I love it. It is a gorgeous brown color. Yeah, I feel like I'm getting deja vu. Look how pretty of a rich chocolate brown it is. I just feel like it looks so pretty on my eyes. What I love most about this though is that I'm able to extend my inner corner with this. And a lot of times when I do that with eyeliners, my eyes will run and then it's just like all smeared by the end of the day. But this truly stays put all day since it's waterproof. It does not budge at all. And I love it for that. I also like that they don't dry out quick. I've had this one for several months and it's still, as you can see, super liquidy. It hasn't dried out. Okay, then this last eye product. I talked about this in a vlog. Either you all have seen the vlog or you'll see this video first. They're actually the lashes that I have on right now, I have not been able to Stop wearing them. They are the Ardell 424 Naked Lashes. This is what they look like in the packaging. And this is how they look on my eyeballs. I'm obsessed with these. I just feel like they look like lash extensions. It feels so light on the eyes, so it doesn't even feel like I have anything on my eyes at all. I just love how they open up my eyes and give me that pretty like doll eyed effect. The reason why I love these so much too is because I have smaller eyes that are downturned. So a lot of times lashes can like overpower my eyes and just be too much. So for me to say that I like love a lash and I want to keep wearing the false lash instead of just using mascara means a lot. I just feel so pretty in these lashes. I feel like they add the perfect amount of drama without being too much. There are even lashes that I love to wear with like minimal to no makeup just to open up my eyes and then just like 
throw on a tinted sunscreen and some under eye concealer. I just feel so pretty and feminine in them. But yeah, if you normally don't like false lashes, but you're looking for like a natural lash that will just make your eyes pop and give you a little bit of a flare, check these out. Oh my gosh, I forgot to talk about a face product. Okay, so I've been using the same exact highlighter palette for the past, oh, it was 2017. 2016 was five years ago, so I've been using the same highlight palette for four years. That is the MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette in the shade Flash and All. I still absolutely love and grab for all the time. But recently, I've been like, instead of grabbing for that one, I've been grabbing for this one. And that's the only palette that I've been grabbing for for years. So the fact that I'm like grabbing for this one instead means a lot. It is the Sigma Glow Kiss Palette. It looks like this. To be honest, I think the reason why I love this is because it has very similar tones to the Flash and All palette. But it has an option that's a little bit brighter and cool tone. And it has like some darker, more golden options. Options. The Hyper Real palette pretty much just looks like this top portion. In this palette, we get this whole bottom portion with, again, more like golden tones that I like to use on my eyes. I like to use them to like highlight the inner corner. And then I have these super like silvery, bright white highlighters that I like to use if I really want to make my inner corner pop or like use as nose highlighter. I'm going to show you how they all look mixed together. I just love the way these melt into the skin. To be honest, the formula reminds me exactly of my MAC Hyper Real Glow Palette, which is why I love this one so much. It flows into the skin effortlessly. I've just been grabbing for this one more because of the extra color options that I have fun mixing and matching with. So yeah, if you're looking for a new highlighter palette, check this one out. You get so many options in, so it's still like easy to travel with. It's not overly bulky. All right, moving on, we're gonna get into a skincare product that I've been loving. So I've been looking for a really good moisturizer because a lot of moisturizers have been breaking out my skin, not hydrating my skin enough, or almost being like too greasy. This one's perfect, and it is my Drunk Elephant La La Retro Whipped Cream has six whipped African oils in it. It looks like this and then you just push the product down and the product comes up. It's a thicker cream, as you can see. I just use that much for my whole face. Love that I can use it during the day and night. It's hydrating enough to hydrate my skin at night and I'm able to wake up with like fresh, juicy skin. But it's not like overly greasy to where I can't wear it underneath the makeup. There have been a ton of products that I've been trying where I love the way it feels on my skin, but when I wear it with makeup, it starts to pill or break the makeup apart but this one we're so beautiful underneath the makeup and like and you see just how juicy and beautiful it leaves the skin oh i've been loving it so much so if you're looking for a good day and night cream highly recommend this one also if you're looking for a great moisturizer but you're on a budget the versed moisture I forget the name of it i'll leave it on the screen and i'll link it down below it's the verse i think it's moisture soak or something moisturizer that one's also so good but i was on the hunt for a moisturizer i almost re replenish that one because none of the ones that I was using was working. But then I realized that I had this and then I started using this regularly. Anyways, that first one is also really Lastly, good. Lastly, let's move on to some products that will have you smelling amazing. I have some fragrance products and then just some random body care products. Before I get into these products, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a fragrance video because I'm a fragrance fanatic. I love layering fragrance. I love scents. So let me know if you guys want to see that and like some of my recommendations. Also, let me know if you guys want to see hygiene or like how to smell good all day routine because I've been so into body products, lotions, oils, fragrance, all of that. And just like smelling good. And I've been getting compliments left or right. Smelling good. Because I feel like I'm doing more than just like spraying perfume. I'm like layering everything so it actually lasts all day. And so that I actually smell good from head to toe. So yeah, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Alright, I'm going to start off with this body care product. Just because it's so random, but it's so good. And it is the Lumi Whole Body Deodorant. This is in the, the Invisible Cream in Lavender Sage. You're supposed to use this for your pits, for your privates. And beyond this 72 hour odor control me being a sweaty girl it's more of like a 48 hour odor control which is still huge because normally like i have to apply if i shower at night and apply deodorant i need to apply it first thing in the morning the next day because it is what it is so from going from having to, to then using this and then being able to go like two days without having to reapply deodorant is honestly mind-boggling to me so whenever I use this I put this on and then I put my deodorant on over top and then that will last 48 hours when I use this by itself it works but it doesn't keep the sweat away so it'll keep the odor away but not the sweat that's why I like to use this with the deodorant if you're a sweaty girl a smelly girl get this it's great right, then with that these are spring scents that you're gonna get so many compliments on if you don't get it at least go into like a department store and 
smell it because these smell so good okay so the first one i've been getting endless compliments every time i wear this it literally smells like spring and summer and it is the ysl lavagere i don't think i'm saying that right but this is what the bottle looks like. The notes on the screen, I'm not even gonna read what they tell you it smells like because I'll leave the description there, but I am gonna tell you that this literally smells like you just got out of, it smells like you took a three hour shower, it smells like you washed your hair, you did a detox shampoo, a mask, everything in there, it smells like you exfoliated, it was like three different body washes and you just like, you shaved. It smells so good, it just smells like a clean, fresh, beautiful woman it smells so good and every single time i wear this i get compliments a very light clean scent but it's strong enough to where it actually lasts all day and like people are gonna get a whiff of it and be like what the heck are you wearing and the cool thing about this too is that it's actually a unisex scent so it's not like overly sweet not overly masculine it literally like i said smells like a clean shower which no wonder why men and women can both use this and the next fragrance that i've been loving is the jo malone english pear Freesia cologne got the one ounce bottle this one is definitely more of like particular scent it smells like a rich clean girl walking down new york city it's fresh but it does have like that it does have a little bit of like a masculine undertone to it still fresh and airy you can get away with wearing it during the day it's strong enough to like have in the evening too and be like a little bit more of a sexy scent these for the summertime this for the day this one for night perfection all right i'm gonna grab a couple more products upstairs and then we're done because if not this video will be 65 hours long this is the last smell good product i'm gonna talk about and it is my la octane huele douche de douche I'm not saying any of this right, but it is a shower oil. It's made with almond oil and it's for cleansing and softening the skin. I've never used a shower oil before. It has like a honey scent to it. It kind of reminds me of like my Gizu hair perfume. It's kind of powdery too. It was like a sweet, soft honey scent. Anyways, I've been loving to use this, especially like if it's like date night and I'll use like my shower gel, I'll exfoliate follow up with my scented body wash and then follow up with this and whenever I do all of that and then I go in with my perfume and then my perfume just lasts so beautifully on the skin but even this scent itself just like lingers and smells so good it leaves your skin super soft it's kind of like a cleansing oil that you would use for your face it really softens everything so nice it lathers up a tiny bit but not like super sudsy I love the way this leaves my skin feeling and smelling oh dang I forgot about these lip products these Maybelline lifter gloss Glosses. I've been loving these two shades in particular that are new. I mean, I love the whole line, but they came out with these shades and they're beautiful. We have the shade Sun that is a gorgeous champagne gold color. This just in the center of the lip is the perfect juicy sparkle. I'm actually gonna put some on right now because I can never have too much lip products on. Do you see that glow? And then this pinky color, beautiful. This with that Maybelline lip liner such a beautiful combo it is like a milky sheer pink that gives a perfect wash of color oh this with just like minimal juicy natural makeup these false lashes you'll just look so clean and put together speaking of being clean and put together i'm gonna go wash my hands moving on to the last three products they are just some random little fashion finds first off this men's button up i got this from the thrift store and it is in every springy summer color possible in a size large so it's nice and oversized i love all the colors on it because i can switch up the top that i use underneath of it and it just looks so cute this top is from target by the way i've been loving these two together obviously can't get this exact top if i find something similar i will link it down below but this is your sign to just check out your local thrift store go to the men's section and i feel like this time of the year during the spring they have so many of these like colorful pinstriped men's button-ups that you can use just like as an overshirt. Mine literally had so many to choose from, but this color combo was by far my favorite. Then with that, one of my favorite shoes to wear with this, these Nike blazers. I cannot stop wearing these. They are low top Nike blazers and they have this really cool felt suede in the front. And then the tongue has like this cool little detailing there i love these so much i was eyeing the veja sneakers and then i tried them on at nordstrom and like they just did not look flattering on my foot but these look flattering because the heel was a little bit higher but it's not like a straight up platform either but it's just like heightened just enough to like kind of lift the leg a little bit better if you want to wear this with dresses or if you want to wear it with like baggier jeans i've been wearing these non-stop like i keep grabbing for them they're just so cute and then i also like that they're 
a nice leather material. It kind of dresses up the dress a little bit, but then it's still casual with this little front detail going on. And then the next pair of sneakers that I've been loving are these, I don't even know what these are called. I got these at, in Florida at the outlet mall. I left the box at my parents' house because I traveled with a personal item. I'm gonna ask my husband what they are because I'm sure he knows, but they're just these basic dad Nike sneakers with a little black check mark and black detailing on them but they go with everything not only that i've also worn these to the gym several times to like walk on the treadmill and they're so comfy and perfect for that these are the type of shoes that look so cute with dresses too you can wear them with sweatpants skirts like a silk skirt moment and a little black bandeau top so cute I knew i'd get a ton of wear out of these this spring and summer I will say with these though, when I tried them on initially, I thought that I needed to size up. So I got them in a seven and a half instead of a seven. But then once I wore them and broke them in, now they're too big. And then the so. last favorite is actually an item that I mentioned in a recent haul. And it is my Lululemon little crossbody bag. I purchased this on a whim when I was shopping around New York City. And I'm so happy that I did because this is literally my most used bag at the moment. And I have so many, not so many, but I have like more, ooh, I just found cash in here. I have more designer options to choose from too. And nope, I'm like, save that. I want to wear my Lululemon crossbody just because it's so convenient. Just for errands I'm hands-free as a woman when I'm shopping and all that by myself I hate walking to my car and feeling like I have too many bags to where if somebody comes up I can't just you know anyways so with this I love it because I'm hands-free if I need to grab something boom I can grab it um there's something else I wanted to mention about this oh yeah I also love the color of it I got it in this beautiful neutral tone it's not too cool not too warm so it literally goes with so many outfits it's a nice nylon material and then i also love the buckle of it i don't know why i just do i also love this when i go on like walks around the neighborhood because i'm able to keep again everything that i need to protect myself and it's all easily accessed right here boom so don't mess with me if you see me on the street they do sell so many dupes but i will say i do love the quality of this bag even the strap is like super heavy duty they're just so cute I can't believe I'm saying this right now, but I got a Stanley cup. I spent $45 on a freaking tumbler. Is it worth it? And have I been way more hydrated than I've ever been? Yes. I'm not going to be those people that are on the Stanley site every time a new color drops. I think that that's ridiculous. Do I think that you need to get the actual Stanley cup? No. But what really changed my life is just having a 40 ounce tumbler has a small enough thing on the bottom to fit in my car and that has a handle so that I'm not like working out just trying to get the tumbler up to my mouth. Also that has a straw. That's what I loved about my simple modern tumbler, which I still love my simple modern tumbler, but it was just too small. Like I need so much water. I would like fill up my smaller tumblers before bed and then I would end up like drinking all of it before I even went to sleep. So then when I woke up in the middle of the night, I was thirsty, there was nothing in my water jug. This is huge. So when I fill it up at night, I have enough water to chug in the middle of the night and then I still have enough to drink in the morning. So yeah, but that's what I was gonna say about this. I don't think you need to get the actual Stanley and Simple Modern came out with one just like this for I think like $25. On Amazon, they sell a bunch of them too. A lot of people say 40 ounces is too big, but to me, 40 ounces is perfect because if not, I'm that lazy person that once I finish my thing of water, I'm too lazy to go back to the fridge to refill it constantly. So just having a big thing like this where I only need to refill it maybe twice a day is perfect. Last, my this one is so random, but Alex and I have been on like a healthy journey. Yeah, we've always eaten relatively healthy. Like we have been trying to like limit the amount of carbs and stuff that we're eating. Well, he is and then because he is, I'm like, I'm not gonna cook two separate meals. So I've just been doing it too. Anyways, even with eating healthy, our guilty pleasure is like ice cream and sweets. And that's what like kills us. So like even though we eat healthy, it's like if you have a healthy dinner and then you eat a full pint of ice cream at the end, kind of defeats the purpose. So we found a great alternative to treat ourselves to a couple times throughout the week. It's just a slightly better option than ice cream. And they are the Yazo Greek yogurt little ice cream bars. My favorite so far are the cookies and cream and the birthday cake ones. we have got the blackberry chocolate chip one. That one is okay, but so far cookies and cream and birthday cake are for the win. They have so many flavors to choose from. They also have a coffee chocolate chip one that I want to try, but I've been loving these. They're so tasty. They don't have like a weird, funny aftertaste. They're 100 calories. They have 17 grams of carbs, which is still less than a full pint of ice cream that I'd want to eat at the end of the day. If you are like me and like ice cream and all that is your weakness, you want a slightly better option to curve that, but still get your sweet tooth and not taste funny. This is so good. And all right, you guys, that wraps it up for this video. I know it was long. It was kind of random, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a 
thumbs up comment down below interact with this video because it really helps me out and helps youtube know that i'm doing good so that it'll keep pushing out my content so that i can keep making content i love you guys so much and i appreciate you so much for watching hope you guys have a great day remember jesus loves you and i'll see you guys next time bye